The Supreme Court has blocked restrictions on the abortion pill mifeprestone. Earlier this month, a federal judge issued a ruling that would revoke the dr drug's two-decade-old FDA approval. An appeals court then ruled it could stay available, but with limits. Friday's ruling undoes that decision, keeping the medication available while the legal battle plays out. President Biden released a statement celebrating the ruling. He says he stands by the FDA's approval of mifeprestone, and he went on to say his administration would continue to defend the FDA's expert authority to review and approve and regulate prescription drugs. CBS News' chief legal correspondent Jan Crawford joins us now from the court. Jan, what does this decision mean for future availability of this drug? Well, I think what the, the impact of this is really in the short term. Uh, the court has said that while the appeals play out, as you suggested, Catherine, uh, that this drug will be available just like it's always been. Uh, it's the status quo, and, and, you know, that's basically the bottom line. There obviously had been some concern from uh, women's rights groups, uh, the American Medical Association, and others, that if this lower court judge's ruling were allowed to take effect, that would have an incredibly negative impact, not only on abortion rights, but on the approval of other drugs. Would it lead to challenges of other drugs as well? We saw states already starting to stockpile uh, the medication yeah. for future years in case they got a different ruling tonight. So it was, um, you know, shortly after uh, 630 Eastern time, the justices released this one, uh, you know, paragraph brief unsigned order saying <laughs> that they are pausing uh, that lower court judge's ruling, which would have taken the drug off the market uh, for abortion. They're pausing that while these appeals play out. Now, what that means in the long term which was your question? Sorry, it's a long. That's okay. Uh, you, up, you're so knowledgeable. Term, it's this fine. Case is far from over. You're educating us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it, go ahead. I know. It, I mean, it, it, the long term means it's far from over. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be now arguments and hearings in the appeals courts. It's going to look at the merits of the lawsuit uh, and the, the case below. Uh, they'll have to go through all those appeals. That'll take months. And then at some point, the whole case is going to end up right back here before the justices again. So get ready. This is over. As fast in your seatbelts, as they'd like to say. So what's so surprising to me and right. maybe not surprising to you is that this really is bifurcated. It's a two phase process. We have this initial phase of the pause and then we have this appeals process. Maybe it's really three steps. And then it's the merits of the case that may ultimately bring it back to the Supreme Court again. Um, what do you think that That's means right. kind of big picture for the court and this particular issue? Um, well, I think you saw with the attention on this case, and, and I thought this was a, the most likely outcome, that the court was going to step in here and grant this stay. Uh, but even that, I mean, even feeling pretty certain that the court was going to do what they did tonight, you saw, you know, State stopped buying drugs. You saw it was tremendously mm -hmm. controversial. Yeah. Uh, you saw countless groups weighing in. There's going to be a tremendous spotlight on the court in any abortion rights case going forward. It's just been less than a year since they overturned Roe versus Wade and sent the issue back to the states. So now we're seeing uh, these challenges and new legal arguments try to play out not only in states uh, in the political process, but now in some courts. So the, the Supreme Court tried to say the justices, the court is going to be out of abortion. Uh, policy, and we're going to let the states decide that, but it's not so easy uh, to do. They're going to constantly be dealing with these kind of challenges, yeah. I, I think, at least uh, in the short term uh, until, you know, I don't know until. I don't know that there is a yeah. in the, just period. Yeah, I just wrote down what you were saying, that it's sort of the incredible ripple effect of uh, overturning Roe v. Wade. Jan Crawford, thanks for your legal analysis.